Let's continue with our discussion on symmetric tops. We obtained the following results last time. So we saw that um, the top axis can, um, I mean, uh, make these kinds of motion which were projected on a unit sphere. Okay, so there are these three possibilities corresponding to phi dot being outside the theta 1 and theta 2, the limiting values of theta 1 and theta 2. Okay, or it could be inside or could be on one of the uh, limits of the theta. Okay, so there were these three possibilities which we uh, looked at last time. If you look at the last uh, uh, possibility where phi dot is 0 on theta 1 or theta 2, okay, this um, is a case which happens when let's say you start your top in the following fashion. So let's say you have, um, sorry, let's say this, this is the vertical and this is the axis of the top. So you can imagine you have a top like this here and there is, uh, let's say some metal part is coming out, okay, and this has been fixed here. So you can imagine that you can bring an external device which could rotate, uh, which could attach to this axis and this ex this device can make this uh, top rotate about it, about this axis, okay. So the top starts spinning about this axis at the fixed angle, whatever theta is here, okay. So it's spinning around this axis. So the initial condition is that your theta dot is zero and also your phi dot is zero because that's all fixed. The motor is not letting anything, uh, this device is not letting these change. So it's fixed there and starts spinning, okay. Now question is what happens when you remove this external agent? Well, what happens is that it will immediately start dropping down. So this will start falling, the, the top, okay. Meaning the theta will start increasing. Okay, you should convince yourself that it has to decrease and not increase. Okay, um, because that will that will not be allowed by the energy conservation. Okay, so that's one thing. So it f falls down, it comes down, and then again goes up, and then comes down and uh, again goes up, and that is what is this possibility. This okay, so this corresponds to uh, this setup. Okay, so that's one thing. Now today I wanted to talk about a uh, sleeping top. Let me Okay, by sleeping we mean that the top which seems to be doing nothing, meaning its axis remains wherever it is and does nothing. Okay, that will be a sleeping top. So, so imagine we uh, are looking at theta equal to zero, okay? So the top is in a vertical position. So here is your vertical and let's say here is our top. Okay, some, something here. Okay, and if uh, if it is made to spin in this position, okay, then clearly theta is zero, okay, and my m three, which is the component of m along the third axis of the body, will be same as m z because m three and this uh, z they all coincide, and our e prime, if you calculate, this will be zero. Okay, because the entire energy, a rotational energy, okay, it will uh, equal the rotational kinetic energy due to uh, along the third axis. So it will is going to come out to be zero, but not so important anyway for us. Now let's look at the effective potential energy, okay, which we wrote down some time back. Where is it? Yeah, here this is in terms of u, the equation 11, but I want in terms of this uh, theta. 
so this is the expression we had let me write it down again our u effective of theta is mz minus m3 cos of theta the entire thing squared divided by 2 i1 prime sine square theta okay and then you have the gravitational term mu g l cos of theta okay you can now as you know that mz and m3 are same you can pull out m3 which you can equate to i3 half i3 omega 3 so if i pull out m3 it will become m3 square because of the square and you will have half i3 omega 3 square okay and that um, sorry there should be no half m3 is just i3 omega 3 okay so you have i3 omega 3 both of the squared and then you have 2 i1 prime coming from the denominator then you have 1 minus cos theta squared over sine square theta plus mu g l cos theta okay and i want to check whether uh, i have an equilibrium um, position at theta equal to 0 so i will expand it around theta equal to 0 so u effective theta for um, small theta would be i3 square omega 3 square over 2 i1 prime okay so cos theta you can approximate to 1 minus theta square over 2 which will cancel this one and you will have here um, let me check yes you will get theta 4 over 4 theta square so you'll have sine square theta as theta square and you will have theta to the 4 over theta power 4 over 4 which will give you theta square by 4 and then plus mu g l cos theta is 1 minus theta square by 2 so 1 minus theta square by 2 ok and this I want to write as mu g l plus i3 square omega 3 square these two factors here then I have a theta square in these two terms so which I take common and you have 4 8 i prime uh, sorry 4 into 2 is 8 i prime that is correct and then you have mu g l over 2 over 2 times theta square plus higher order terms ok so this is the constant piece I am not bothered by that and um, whether the equilibrium at theta equal to 0 is stable or not is determined by this coefficient right so if this is um, positive that would mean that the potential energy increases as, as you increase theta and then that would imply that equilibrium is stable so we have to uh, uh, ensure that this is greater than 0 which means that if or condition for stability okay is omega 3 square greater than 4 mu g l i1 prime over i3 square let's go back so this is mu omega 3 square and this entire thing should be greater than 0 so i bring it to the other side and this is what i get okay so if this is satisfied then theta equal to 0 is a stable equilibrium configuration okay so if you start your stop top in theta equal to zero direction so again imagine you have your heavy top and it's being uh, made to spin 
by some external device which is holding it in the theta equal to 0 position okay and when you gently remove this device and depending on um, what omega 3 has been given to it if it satisfies this condition then it will just remain spinning at theta equal to 0 okay so if that is satisfied then we will say that the uh, we will say that the top is sleeping okay sleeping meaning its axis is doing nothing it stays put at theta equal to 0 okay no precision no nutation nothing is there that's called a spinning top but what will happen in reality is that after a while because the 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 point which is uh, the fixed point which is in contact with something okay it will because of the friction there or even be with the friction with the environment air let's say the the spin will start decreasing with time and the moment spin gets below this value okay omega 3 the moment it gets below this value the top will become alive okay top becomes alive meaning it will no more remain at theta equal to zero it, its axis will start doing all the things that we have seen before okay which we have learned here okay so that is what for the sleeping top let me just um, write down about this so friction will reduce omega 3 below the limit mentioned above okay and the top will wake up okay so i think i would stop the discussion of tops uh, with this there is a lot more literature that is available on tops and gyroscopes and i would encourage you to um, look up at in uh, at some of these textbooks which have a um, little bit more of discussion on this and also you can see more references in them and which will lead you to um, much more discussion on on these tops okay so i'll finish um, this um, discussion here and we'll take up other other uh, topics next time